What's up everyone? I am Dr. Sabeel Khan and I welcome you to the crypto market update. So Bitcoin price is recovering and Ethereum as well as prominent projects and DApps in its ecosystem are moving fast to the upside. So in this video, we will first look at Bitcoin, Ethereum and Cardano. We will also look at the key projects in Ethereum ecosystem and also try to understand the market dynamics which will help us in making our next moves in this very volatile and risky market. Also, I will briefly mention the key developments in two projects which are Cardia Chain and Digitex which I have been following for many months now. So before I proceed, I do appreciate if you kindly like the video, subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get the time sensitive information on time, which will help you in maximizing your gains. We cover under the radar projects before the hype and traction to help you in doing your own research and making enormous gains. Also comment below and share this video anywhere on social media or with friends and family who are interested in the blockchain space and cryptocurrencies. I do cryptocurrency videos every week. So as far as the current state of the market is concerned, we can see that Bitcoin is trading at 54,000 US dollars. We did plummet down quite significantly, but thanks God that we didn't break the key support levels and we didn't go down to 40,000 US dollars or below because that would have just caused panic selling by the retail investors and uh, God knows we might have gone to the crypto abyss and uh, Ethereum has been pumping quite hard in the past uh, week because of some news that came out and also of course because of the overall market sentiment. So for those of you who don't know in the past months more influencers have been talking about Ethereum than Bitcoin and that is huge. And as far as the Binance coin BNB is concerned, it has just been skyrocketing. And the reason for that is that the projects that are launched on Binance Smart Chain and on its launch pad, you need BNB in your wallet in order to participate in those. And that shrinks the supply and puts an upward pressure on the price. XRP in my opinion is now having a correction after having some significant gains over the past weeks despite the FUD related to the SEC lawsuit. Cardano ADA I think is gonna skyrocket once the programmers can program D apps on the top of Cardano platform and that is gonna happen in the coming months. And seeing Dogecoin in the top 10 coins tells us the level of knowledge which people have in the crypto space at least most of them, and it shows us how delusional people can actually be. Just because Elon Musk likes memes and just because Elon Musk has tweeted about Dogecoin, it made it a wonderful coin and it made a place amongst the top 10 coins on the coin market cap. But that is just delusional Disneyland thinking which has fueled this hype. To me, Dogecoin is nothing more than a junk pile. And now let's go to Polkadot. So I am pretty bullish on Polkadot and I believe that as new projects are launched on Polkadot and as they get more traction, definitely the price of Polkadot is going to increase. So we do have quite a bit of upside potential during this bull run for Polkadot. Same goes for Uniswap because the layer 2 solutions are coming and once they are rolled out, the gas fee problem is going to be solved and the retail investors are going to use it to buy the tokens which are very low market cap and which have a very high upward potential or else let's say the potential to get them wrecked. And after the launch of PayPal merchant payments, many people thought that Litecoin will at least 2x in price, but it didn't happen. But I think it is going to happen slowly and gradually over time organically, since of course it is the cheapest coin over there. And then Chainlink is very interesting because I think that Chainlink has a lot of upside potential because the technology of Chainlink enables the smart contracts to assess the real world data. And in this way, it enables the dApps of several ecosystems like Cardia Chain, like Icon and Ethereum to create value in several use cases across different industry verticals and ecosystems. So that was the brief overview of the overall state of the market. And now let's go in depth. So as far as Bitcoin is concerned, the recent FUD might be over where we saw the lowest RSI levels in years. The price plummeted in the blink of an eye and it definitely shook many weekends. For those of you who don't know what RSI is, so RSI is an indicator used by traders to gauge 
whether we are in the oversold or overbought territory. So it means that we were really oversold when the Bitcoin price plummeted a few days back. But we saw that the bulls appeared again and we are again trading at over 54,000 US dollars, which is quite encouraging. However, since the market is very sentiment driven, it will take some weeks before we can confidently state that the downward trend is not over. If we had gone below key support levels, things could have been very emotionally challenging for the retail investors in particular which would have caused panic selling and taken us down to levels below 40,000 US dollars. But it is good to see that at least currently we did not go down to these levels and we did recover. But are we really set to make new all time highs? This is something which time will tell. Markets are driven by fear and greed. Therefore, we have to observe the market and make our next moves according to the past price action and macro factors that influence the price of Bitcoin. And now let's look at Ethereum. So the price of Ethereum is currently around 2600 US dollars and we are seeing a lot of strength in terms of market sentiment backing it and the upcoming upgrades scheduled this summer. So first of all, I will tell you that Ethereum is massively undervalued in my opinion. And yes, surely with blockchain 3.0 platforms like Cardano, Cardia Chain, Solana and Polkadot getting traction and making it easy for their D apps to interoperate with Ethereum D apps to tap into the network effect of Ethereum. We must also look at the dynamics of Ethereum development itself. So as we get closer to July where EIP 1559 release with London hard fork will be accomplished, which will make Ethereum deflationary and wipe out billions of US dollars worth of Ethereum supply from the market. This means that we can see the price of Ethereum making new all time highs over the summer till September. As we saw in the current dip, the Ethereum stood strong and held its key support levels. This shows the confidence and trust on this time tested smart contracts platform, which in its current state definitely has its shortcomings as we mentioned before. So what does that mean for Ethereum ecosystem? So after the Ethereum upgrades, when the attention will go to Ethereum, the whole Ethereum ecosystem will get visibility with it. And with that, the most widely used D apps or impactful projects will definitely get a boost as well. During this bull run, we can see them far outperforming Ethereum and surely Bitcoin in terms of percentage fiat gains or US dollars gains. Therefore, after the Ethereum upgrade plan for July, we can see some new upward momentum in the price of Uniswap once the gas fee problem is solved. So in the Ethereum ecosystem, there are two projects which are Uniswap and Polygon on which I am really bullish. So let's first talk about Uniswap. So as we can see on CoinMarketCap, Uniswap is making new all time highs and is currently sitting at 39 US dollars. And there is a reason behind the bullish price action. The what makes me so bullish on Uniswap is the fact that currently the launch pads of blockchain 3.0 platforms, for example, Polka Shorter for Polkadot ecosystem essentially launch Ethereum tokens. Due to this, they are available on Uniswap. And the reason is that before they all finally move over to their respective ecosystems down the road, their token will be listed on Uniswap before that. Uniswap can definitely take advantage of that fact. The reason is that mainnet launch is a big event and savvy investors will buy the tokens of new Cardano and Polkadot projects before they move over to their respective blockchains as I mentioned and afterwards create real value in their niche industry or let's say get real traction. So this will definitely increase the trading volume on Uniswap and hence increase its traction in the market. Therefore, the overall outlook of not just Ethereum, but also its ecosystem is quite good for the Q3 and Q4 of 2021. And now let's have a look at Polygon. So Polygon, previously called Matic, was launched on the Binance Launchpad. So in case of many Binance Launchpad projects, they gave enormous gains to investors, but the case of Polygon is different. So surely there are other layer two solutions like CartEasy for Ethereum to enhance its 
viability across several use cases by lowering the gas fee but the case of Polygon is different. So Polygon is primed in great position to make massive moves since it is the only layer 2 solution which is on Coinbase. I'm not saying that the other solutions like Cart Easy are inferior as far as value proposition is concerned. This is a topic for another video but I'm just saying that it is the only one out of these solutions which is on Coinbase. Now, surely there is a heavy fee on Coinbase, but one can also buy it with low fee on Coinbase Pro. Therefore, with the new retail investors buying cryptocurrencies and the bull run continuing on, we can see many new retail investors buying Polygon and therefore taking its price further upwards in the coming months. And now let's have a look at Cardano. So Cardano is currently trading under 1.5 US dollars. So in the top 10 cryptocurrencies, anything around a dollar or less, I think is a no brainer for investors. So they have a test net coming up leading into the smart contracts main net, which is really where this project will blast off in my opinion. The reason is that at this point, other projects will begin using the Cardano blockchain. So the dynamics of the price action of Cardano will be similar to the price increase in Binance BNB coin. So when the decentralized exchanges built on the top of Cardano as Cardano D apps are rolled out, the price of Cardano is destined to skyrocket. So the main reason why Binance BNB coin really shot up so quickly was the massive supply shock due to projects launched on the Binance Smart Chain and PancakeSwap needing BNB for liquidity. So that is something which can also happen in case of Cardano ADA 2. So I believe that most likely we will get a Cardano swap which will create a supply shock for ADA because ADA will be required for liquidity when any new project is developed within the Cardano ecosystem. And now let's have a look at Cardia Chain and Digitex. So first we will have a look at Cardia Chain, which is one of the most impactful blockchain 3.0 projects with a unique dual node interoperability solution that is non-invasive and therefore does not compromise security. So as we can see on their website, with our non-invasive cross-chain technology, Cardia Chain operates as a data conduit that allows cross-chain communication between public and private blockchains regardless of their protocols. Cardia Chain can transfer both assets and data without requiring any change on participating blockchains and therefore it does not compromise security at all. It means that developers can build cross-chain applications on Cardia Chain with ease. Our unified infrastructure helps solutions run on multiple platforms by enabling interoperability among them and making the implementation as straightforward as possible from the developer's perspective. We covered Cardia Chain when it was just two cents and since then the Kai coins of Cardia Chain have increased over 5x in value. And I firmly believe that Cardia Chain has a lot of room to grow during this bull run. And now let's talk about Digitex. So for those of you who are subscribed to my channel know that I am bullish on Digitex. So we covered Digitex when it was half a cent and since then it has given investors well over 5x gains. So it is a zero fee futures trading platform which has the best trading experience that I have found among all the other main crypto futures trading platforms and also they recently launched the zero fee spot markets which is a huge development. We will be following the project as more updates come. So I firmly believe that Digitex has a huge growth potential not only during this bull run but also beyond that because it is a futures trading platform and traders will be able to make money irrespective of the price action of Bitcoin whether it goes up or down it doesn't matter to savvy traders and as it gets more traction in the market more and more traders will come to the platform and trade there which will increase the demand of the Digitex token. I hope that you guys found this market overview useful. If you want to support my channel for free, kindly like the video and comment below and share this video anywhere on social media or with friends and family who are interested in the blockchain space and cryptocurrencies. 
I do cryptocurrency videos each week. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.